Good morning to one and all. I, I am Rita Shivashankaran, a research scholar of Sweetie University under the guidance of Dr. Jasdeep Kaur Dami. Today is going to present my own article on Sustainable Agriculture and Pandemic, a Case Study of India. The main focus of the article is on maintaining sustainable agriculture to tackle the unexpected situation like pandemic in future. Sustainability in agriculture is at most importance for developing overpopulated countries like India. Sustainable agriculture must be the important agriculture practice for achieving the target of zero hunger. The review intends to go through every possible impact on COVID-19 on food and agriculture across the globe. Scientific technologies must be invented in agriculture with affordable price focusing on small and marginal farmers. Both private sector along with government should work together to build technological advanced agriculture sector. Since India is a country with large-scale marginal farmers who are badly hidden during such pandemic, focus should be on tackling the difficulties of these poor farmers. Emphasis should be given to development of agriculture technology and hence the research in this field must be focused. The aim of research must not only to generate food but also give deeper care to environment resources including forestry. India is agriculture oriented country. Nearly 71% of our population of our country still depends on agriculture for their livelihood. Compared to agriculture, in western countries our agriculture still depends on old pattern. The condition of the farmers in our country is still backward. Most of the farmers are illiterate and on the verge of poverty. They don't have any proper access to modern technology. Inequalities in income and land are the two uh, there are two types of farmers existing in our agriculture system that is rich and poor. Poor farmers are also called marginal farmers. They are the farmers with less than one acre of land. Lack of proper marketing facilities. Many farmers are deprived of proper marketing facilities. As a result, they are forced to sell their products at very low price. Lack of storage facilities also become hindrance to poor farmers, especially during pandemic-like situation. Lack of proper incentives and knowledge of multi-farming system also becomes a hindrance to the poor farmers. Poor implementation of cooperative farming system where scattered agriculture land holdings are brought together retaining their ownership. When all small land holdings are brought together, it becomes easy to adopt various technologies and yield will be much better compared to the previous. In such type of cooperative farming system, farmers can even survive the unexpected pandemic-like situation. Since the economical real benefit is much higher in such big sized farms compared to small land holding. Impact on COVID-19 on food and agriculture Due to inner migraine of laborers during lockdown pandemic, many farmers were forced to delay their harvesting, which forced them to burn their stubble. Compared to previous year, the pollution level in Delhi is higher due to these delayed policies owing to pandemic. Since exports and imports were closed during lockdown, the global agriculture prices fell down. Labor shortage was another problem faced by agriculture sector due to inner migration of laborers. Demand for certain agriculture products during pandemic resulted in tightening of supply chain. Green technology must be encouraged for sustainable agriculture. The lack of income, employment and interlinked food due to this pandemic has exasperated distribution and food fragility at the worldwide level. The technological innovation in agriculture has led to excessive use of chemical fertilizer and emission of greenhouse gases. This has become a disaster to sustainability of agriculture. Green technology is a broad term of innovative ways to make our agriculture environment friendly and sustainable. Subsidized and free food pro free food through PDS should be provided through PDS system. The government also transfer direct cash to accounts of these vulnerable people from an organized sector who lost their job and income owing to lockdown and pandemic.
All these sudden protective measures taken by government assisted the vulnerable to survive and overcome the pandemic. When these migrant workers returned back to their home, they found themselves very difficult to survive due to lack of land and skills of doing agriculture. Many of them were forced to starve, borrow money from others. They found it difficult to pay back their loans. From the survey conducted, it has been found that nearly 39% is a vulnerable section, suggesting that lockdown has affected them seriously. Livestock sector is an important sector of Indian economy. Contribution of livestock sector total agriculture has increased from 24.32% to 28.63% in 2018-19. Overall, the contribution of livestock is estimated to 4.2% of total GV in 2018-19. India is one of the leading producer of milk in the world. Several measures adopted by the government have resulted in increase in milk production. Due to pandemic, there was a sharp decline in arrival of various food items registered in many markets. This may be due to many reasons, that is consumption of food by the farmers to survive the pandemic. Non-availability of storage facilities forced the farmers to throw away many of their food crops. The procurement policies introduced by the government also restricted the flow of food grains in the market. Data are collected by using secondary sources like various articles, literature work, books, studies and theses conducted in this field. The main objectives of these studies are to find out the difficulties faced by agriculture sector of India during pandemic, to have a deep analysis on each problem faced by agriculture sector and to suggest solution to make our agriculture self-sustainable and It has been concluded that the sustainability of agriculture is very important in populated countries like India to survive the emergency pandemic-like situation and to meet the food requirement of growing population. Adoption of green technology to a large extent, retaining subsidies and marginal support price to the product, encouraging multi-farming, encouraging joint sector cooperative, encouraging artificial intelligence in the field of agriculture, shifting of cultivation to nutritious crop rather than sticking to rice weed cultivation, linking MSP and PDS with different types of nutritious crops, encouraging urban horticulture. Thank you.